Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. Here's a short video to show you a quick tip on how to quickly bulk add columns to existing sheets. Now, why might this be useful? So in Smartsheet, one of the things is if you want to add in columns and you want to add in lots of them, you can only add in a maximum of five at a time. And then when you've got the columns, you've got to click on each one and then change the name, so name, and then you've got to click on the next one and then name, and then if you make a mistake and it's already in use, then you say it all comes a bit of a faff. So if you want to bulk upload lots, in this case, I've got a financial spreadsheet, so I want to add in the dates, and I've got to do that manually. I've got to add in another 12, or it could be a lot more columns than that if you're doing one for every week of the year, then you want a quicker way of doing this bit. So the way that I do this is I import the columns from another existing sheet. If that sheet doesn't exist already in Smartsheet, then what I do is I add it in via Excel. So what I'm gonna do is make sure it's got the same column as the primary column. So I'm gonna say projects, because that's what it is on the other one. And then the column headers that I want is I want, in this case, it's the first of the first of 2023. And so I'm gonna add this in. And I want the months in this case. So I'm gonna add in a little formula, e-date, which enables me to get the first day of every month. So start date and add a month. And I'm gonna close that one and I'm gonna drag this formula across. There was that two, that 11th. So one more to 12 and there we go. Now, one bit to, to note, by the way, is depending on if you want this to be a, um, if you want to set the formatting of the columns automatically when you import them in, in this case, I don't want them actually to be dates, but if you were to list dates down here, or you were to have the items that you want as a drop down, in this case, so um, let's just say, you know, that's 10 and that's 10 and that's 20 and that's 20 and that's 30. We'll see what happens on that bit. That's gonna accelerate the drop downs. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this date down here and you can see this as well as a bit of a demo. Now, one thing to be aware of is if you want these to be column headers, you cannot have formulas in there at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and I am going to paste values to get rid of the formulas. So no formulas in there now, it's just a date. And now what I'm gonna do is save it. So if I save this and I'm gonna call this 2023 um, date upload, and I'm going to save that, and there we go, that's saved. Now, so I go back to Smartsheet, and I'm now going to create a new one, so I'm gonna import it from Excel. I'm gonna go and find that one, date upload, there it is. Bring it in, and what you can see is it already takes the column, the row at the top, and suggests that as your column header. Project is going to be the primary column, so I'm going to say yes. So good to go. I'm going to import. So let's just have a quick look at this file and what's happened in here. So if you look at this one, you can see it says, oh, there's dates in there. So it's already made it a date column for you. Really helpful if you want to have date columns and that saved you time here. Let's see what's happened in this one. Okay, in this one, it hasn't happened this time around, but in other cases, what you'll find is, depending on what you put in here, this content will come through and it'll create it as an automatic drop down for you as well, which can be really helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this content out. Uh, so there we go, because we don't need that anymore. And but what I'm actually gonna do is just put content in one of the columns um, on this case, and I'm just gonna change the sizing a bit, just so you can see the names of the dates on that bit, and you can see it, it's what I want. So in this case, now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to get that and I'm gonna copy it to the file which I want to do. So um, portfolio monthly cost tracking is what I've got here and it's copied across. So if I go back into that one and I don't need to save, I don't need it anymore. So if you go into monthly cost tracking, what you can see is, hey presto, all those columns have been added already. Again, and you can see they are, they've come across and they've got, well that's the date format, so I'm gonna turn it back to number on that side. And, and again, obviously I can change around the formatting here for that piece. But I hope that's been useful for you as a way to quickly bulk out columns to existing sheets and more tips to follow. Bye for now.